Hello, welcome to Stereo Pixel. In this video, we will discuss one of the most important and useful utilities in Maya, that is the condition node, which can be found in Hyperset under Maya utilities. As the name suggests, condition node compares two situations in a scene and gives an outcome out of these two situations. Here we will discuss this node and see the use of this node. So first of all select this node and double click to go to the attribute editor. Here in attribute editor I will see some condition attributes. First term, second term, operation, color if true and color if false. So these are the two conditions first term and second term. Condition node compares these two conditions and we can connect these conditions with the operation. If I select the operation drop down menu, I will see there are few options like equal, not equal, greater than, greater or equal, less than and less or equal. So with the operation connection between first term and second term, the condition node compares the two situations and gives an outcome in terms of color. So if the first term is uh, for example uh, greater than, if the first term is greater than the second term that means it's uh, giving the true color. So it will show the true color what I will put over here. The values are in terms of RGB which I can see from the uh, three channels and if the first term is uh, not greater than the second term then it will give you the color if false by default the true color and the false color are black and white respectively we can change the color uh, putting the color values so here I will uh, give you an example of this condition node to illustrate this node better here I have created a scientific instrument, a container which uh, contains uh, some liquid. The base color of the liquid is uh, blue. There are some uh, units uh, of this container from 0 to 5. By default the liquid uh, stays in unit 1. If I select the liquid and go to channel and crank up the value scale Z. I will see when my liquid reaches uh, the unit 3 it turns red and as uh, I higher the value it uh, gives the prominent red and if I crank down the value to minimum level less than 3 it again uh, become blue. So I have created this interesting uh, effect using the condition node which I will show you here. First of all, I will uh, go to the hyperset. So here for the uh, container and the glass and the liquid, I have created a couple of blend shaders. For the liquid, I have created a blue blend shader. Select the shader and press on the input output connection. So you can see uh, there is my blend shader with the setting group. This is my condition node I have used for this uh, scene. Uh, this is the P cylinder 2 node uh, which is the cylinder itself. And I have created a ramp texture for this blending of color. So first of all uh, Select the condition node, double click on it, go to the attribute editor. So here in first term I have connected uh, the P cylinder node and in second term I have put the value 3. So first of all I will show you how I have connected the P cylinder 2 node with the condition uh, first term. First of all select the uh, cylinder and shift select uh, the condition node 
and press on the input connection now select the p cylinder 2 node and if you shift select and middle mouse drag drop uh, this node onto the condition node it will open the connection editor here i have connected uh, the scale z value of uh, the cylinder with the first term of the condition node all right and as i have already said uh, for the second term of the condition node i have put the value 3 and under operation i have selected the uh, option greater than so now the condition node will check the condition between the first term and the second term so if the first term value is greater than the second term value give the color true and if it is uh, not greater than the second term then give the color false so at my initial stage my first term value is 1 now 1 is obviously uh, less than 3 so the operation suggests color if false where I have put the color uh, 0 0 and 1 that is R G and B so R and uh, G are 0 it remains a complete blue and for the color true I have uh, connected a simple RAM texture select the RAM and simply middle mouse drag drop on the condition node connect it uh, to the color if true for the ramp I have uh, selected only two colors uh, namely blue and red and I have selected the ramp type to VRAMP with the interpolation to linear now uh, create a blin which I have created over here and connect this condition node uh, to the color channel of the blin simply select the condition node middle mouse drag drop and select color and finally select the blin and apply this uh, shader to the cylinder so that is all from the connection and uh, you will see the output result which I have already shown you so that is all about condition node we can use this node uh, for creating complex shading group networks Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.